Hi, in this video we're going to show you the chat GPT for Google browser extension. So this should work for uh, Chrome and for Edge. So once you get to the page here, which I'll put a link in the description for, just click on Add to Chrome, just like any other extension. Add extension. And it tells you to add it to your extensions up there. And depending when you're watching this video, it might prompt you to install this additional extension, which obviously you don't have to do unless you want to. And it might give you this option here to go to the options page, which you could check out. So for options, you have the trigger mode, which determines when the chat GPT will actually uh, do a search based on your Google search here. Always, if you put a question mark on your search or manually, then you have your theme, uh, language if you want to change your language. And obviously, you should probably leave it on auto. And the AI provider if you want to use the chat GGP web app or open AI API. And you can probably just you know, leave these settings alone here. So we'll close that out, close this out here. And if you go to extensions here, you could also get to the options and also remove it if you don't want it or if you want to pin it, which you probably don't need to because there's not much you could do with it. All right, so let's go to Google here. Let's type in a search. Uh, let's see. So now that we have all the um, trigger sets, so it should do it for any kind of search question or not. Okay, so when you do your search, uh, if you don't have an OpenAI account, you're going to have to create one. It's a free account. So we're going to log in here. Okay, so we'll just go back here. So as you can see, it's kind of the same thing as just doing a chat GPT search from, you know, you know, Google Bard or the uh, Microsoft chat GPT website, that type of thing. But you could do it in one place for all your searches. And if you want to do like a, you have your Google searches here. Okay, let's do one more here. All right, so you get the basic idea of how it works. So it's up to you to go to the triggers to determine you know, when it kicks in, if you want to have it do all the time, just with a question mark or manually. And then, of course, you'll have to make an open AI account uh, to use this as well. So if you're just in, you know, if you're into the chat GPT thing, then it's kind of a cool little extension. Then, of course, like I said, if you don't want it, just go back here, remove from Chrome or remove from Edge, and then you'll be uh, back to normal. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.